hello everyone in today's video let's practice some orthodontics mcqs while i'm going through the questions you can have a guess what might be the correct answer it birth uh, appearance of face is narrow and long broad and long broad and flat narrow and short the correct answer is broad and flat yes in the differential growth of various parts of the face the height of the cranium and width of the face are close to uh, adult size at birth growth is generally completed first in head and then in the width of the face and last in the length or depth of the face so the face is broad and flat at birth malocclusion can be progressive in it is in class 3 malocclusion the malocclusion can be progressive the arc length preservation can be best carried out by placing a lingual arc, restoring carrier teeth, placing band and loop space maintainer, or placing an acrylic removable space maintainer. The best way for space presentation preservation is restoring a carrier teeth. The above image shown in orthodontics is an example of uh, it is an example of uh, active tieback. So the correct answer is uh, active tie back. After mixed dentition stage, the arc length from first molar to first molar usually it decreases after the mixed dentition because the drifting of the permanent molars and the premolars have less size, major distal size than the deciduous molars evated lips are associated with increased lower facial height decreased anterior facial height that's the correct answer decreased anterior facial height The reduced face height is often accompanied by inverted and prominent lips. I am giving some time for you to read this explanation. All of the following are methods to close a diastema except lingual arc with finger spring, holy appliance with finger spring, cemented orthodontic bands with intertooth traction using an Essex appliance. And the correct answer is D using an Essex appliance. It is not used to close the diastema because Essex appliance it is a passive appliance now moving to the next question the identify the given instrument options are spot welder solder band pincher and needle cutter it is a spot welder Maxillary protraction headgear is used for, as the name suggests, it is used for maxillary protraction, maxillary skeletal protrusion. It is quite simple. Use of light cure in orthodontics is done in case of bone dead retainer, fixing the brackets, correction of 1 mm midline diastema and all of these. In all of these procedures, light cure can be used. So the correct answer is D. All of these. That's all for today. In next video, I'll again come with some more MCQs for practice. Give it a thumbs up if you like this. See you in the next video.